Hello, in this short tutorial I'll show you how to use R in your Java application. The easiest way to do it is to use your R server. R server is additional package to R and you can install it by uh, typing install packages R serve and then uh, use it as usual. So library R serve. After using this library you should uh, start your R server. Uh, when you're using Mac or Linux machines, uh, you should use no save argument uh, for starting this server. So executing, we've got error because uh, we have already I have already started this server, so we may check it. It usually runs on uh, 6311 port by default, and uh, here it is. You can see that it is running. So getting back to our Java application here, it's a small Java application just uh, with command line interface and uh, to use uh, our server you will need two additional uh, libraries. First is our engine and second is our server engine. Our engine you can find in Marwen but uh, I think the better way is to download the latest version from uh, developer's site, it's rforge.net. So because here are both of these jars you need, and in Marvin you can find only on R engine. Uh, the program is very simple and uh, you see how it is work. It's R connection, you connect to localhost, and uh, then we just check our version. Command uh, C eval is a high level IP pro provided by our server and uh, you can execute uh, different R commands using this command. So you can just uh, read some file with uh, R script and uh, put it in variable and then, then say eval and uh, use this variable. So, let's look how it works. And here we got, we're connecting to our server and uh, here we're checking our version. And then closing session. The only bad thing about our server is uh, that there is nothing to do with uh, multi-threading from R. So you, you can run only one thread in R using this type of connection.